Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about how to get mail forwarded to you while you're on the road, how to get your license uh, for your vehicle registered in the state of South Dakota, and also if you wanted to become a resident of South Dakota, how do you can do that. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jim, and as I said in the introduction, we're gonna talk about how we get mail on the road, how we establish our license plates, and also getting residency. I'm here at America's Mailbox today, and it's at 514 America's Way in uh, Box Elder, South Dakota. And so they are the mail service that we use. They have a number of different uh, programs that you can use, whether you're full-time, part-time, if you want your mail scanned. It's always changing, so I'll put a link below uh, in the comments that you can follow and see which package works for you. As far as mail was concerned, when we went full-time on the road, we started the change a couple of months prior to actually going on the road. And this way we saw what mail we were getting at home and it made it easy to change. All your junk mail is uh, thrown out and you only get uh, the mail that you really want. We have ours scanned and what they'll do is they'll send us an email whenever uh, mail comes in and they'll be an image of the envelope. And then if I want it opened up and scanned even further, they'll do that for you. Um, and there is a fee to do that. But 99% of the time, we let our mail accumulate and we just go and have it shipped to wherever we are. The second thing is uh, we actually registered our vehicles before becoming uh, residents of South Dakota. So we lived in Arizona and for just about a year, we had South Dakota plates and still an Arizona driver's license. I know several people who do that. Um, I don't know whether it's uh, legal or not. We still have a home in Arizona. And so we were um, sort of using that as a, a, an excuse if we got stopped, but we never did. Um, and it was very easy to do. I'll I'll put a link below on what's required to do your uh, registration and plates here in South Dakota without being a resident. There is a, a slight fee that America's Mailbox charges uh, to do this service, but it wasn't much at all. And we had the, sh the plates shipped out to us and really no worries. It saved us a bunch of money over Arizona. And the other thing was that Arizona required us to be back on a yearly basis to get a mission checked. And so uh, you can get a waiver, but it's only one time. And, and we, we didn't want our travels always to loop through Arizona. So uh, we switched to South Dakota. Lastly, to become a resident of South Dakota, if you want to do that also, uh, all it takes is staying one night in South Dakota. And it doesn't have to be here in the same county that your license plates are, uh, but we just happen to do that. We're in South Dakota right now. Uh, they do have a, a campground where you can park and spend the residency. Also, they have rooms in their building over there that you can stay in overnight, and that'll establish uh, your one night stay. Then just about Five miles down the road is the Driver's License Bureau. Uh, it, they require you to have a couple of things. So uh, I will put a link below. We went in, we had a passport and a birth certificate my wife had. And uh, you need to show that you're getting mail here or show your contract for here that you have a, a mailbox. I highly recommend you make a reservation. It goes very quick. Uh, it's not required, but uh, we got in within, you know, less than a minute of walking in there. We were served and uh, it was a relatively simple process. Uh, what's required is uh, we need to be back once a year. Uh, excuse me. What's required is we need to be back once every five years 
and spend a, a night overnight. And I highly recommend coming to the Rapid City area anyway. The Black Hills of South Dakota are so beautiful. There's so many things to see and do here. Uh, we, we stayed, originally we were scheduled for four days and we were now extended on our third week. We stayed at a campground down the road called Heart Ranch Resort. Um, no knock against uh, America's Mailbox, but it's much nicer if you're gonna be here long term. If you have any questions about the process or would like to learn more, uh, you can either call America's Mailbox or leave them in the comments below. We'll let you know what our real life experience was. And we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for all our subscribers for coming back and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.